Hey everybody, Lamp Fox here today. I'm back to saying Bendy and the Dark Rival once again. In the last episode, we get to see Trophy Drew. Where apparently that was actually just the ink version. Well, just a memory version. And this is where he died, apparently. 19, 1971. So I. Yeah, we. Yeah, we got. Build up with the ink demon multiple times. Oh yeah, I didn't get this part saved in, so sorry. Same change over here. I try getting up up there by doing the flow. I don't know. But I don't know. It'll, it'll be helpful if I have a map, but yeah. But this game doesn't do maps. So I send the ink somewhere else, but where? I should have helped start teleporting there. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is what I meant to do. Alright, take these. down here, which I don't even know how they didn't go through here. I'm gonna put a battery in here just in case. I meant to go to the US. <laughs> yeah, I meant to go to the US side. 
Hey guys. Oh. Behold, hey. the stranger is upon us. Kill her. Kill her now. Switch. Oh, I have to beat this guy? Oh, you gave me a Oh, I can sit. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Stuff. Holy crap. Hope you don't mind I'm standing your things. Do that every time. Whoa, hi. Whoa. What in the world? How big is this place? Bitty! Oh, it's you. Where did you come from? Look, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. And I really don't think you want to hurt me either, right? Good. Let's be friends then, okay? What do you say? You and me? Awesome. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the old gent building. What's wrong? Is it a bad place? It's okay. I won't let anything happen to you. We'll go one step at a time. Just you and me. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I'm in chapter four now. Factory of Horrors. Just to be sure. Is he actually following? Go and follow me. Hey, yes. Hey, Deborah Dean. Oh, oh, look at him. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he said, "Where'd you go?" Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, we got Benny following us now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm outside. We've never been outside. What did you just go through me? <laughs> I think we I think we never experienced outside the studio before. Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. 
Any ideas, Bendy? the hotel. Nightclub room. It's kind of creepy in here. Yeah, oh, you're all following me. <laughs> I don't want I was thinking of hitting him, but I don't think that's worth it. Oh. Small room. Yum. You say down there, Mindy. Hey. Is there like a key I'm supposed to get down there? What am I supposed to do? Enjoy him. Okay. So it doesn't hurt him, it just fits his head around. <laughs> they didn't broke up the sit well because his fingers and legs are going through the thing. <laughs> oh, where the heck did you come from? Where in the world did you come from? Why you have to go there for me to sit? It's probably somewhere so obvious. Also, oh my gosh, there was a there was a hole here. Oh my gosh. Oh. So like one thing in there. This is what I need. Yes. Well, geez. you haven't gotten far. Joey Drew. Don't Again? do that. Wait. How? How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. So tell me, how goes the journey? Slow, but I'll get through. Ah, 
I see you have your father's never-quit go-getter spirit. Oh, now you knew my father. Well, newsflash, <laughs> I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. I see, then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. Wait. What are you oh. doing? What? What are you doing, jo Joey? All right, Joey. All right, Joey. I'm here. I'm here. Henry? I'm fine when you wanted me to stay. Over here. Come have a seat. This won't take long. This is the studio from Bendy and Ink Machine. Whoa. Yeah, that was the dreams come true. Oh, it's been redecorated. Oh, right here. Where are we? Very old place. Full of memories. But never mind all that. There's a little story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes. But mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist. Oh, now we know his last friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often. But when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new, something he had always wanted, but he could never have, a family, but not a cartoon one, something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen, I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. Flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Take me back. Right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone! <sighs> Okay, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, it's not true. It can't be. Wow, okay. So we now we got flashbacks from Benny Yig Machine there. Including Henry Stein, which we never know his last name. <laughs> Watch 
Imagine I got trapped on the car. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, make your way to the building. Oh, keepers are always watching. So, this is a jet building. Bendy! Oh, what the heck? What the freak? Oh, well, apparently I'm ready to eat Bendy or not. I freaking knew it. <laughs> To activate those. And hey, what happened to these guys? Oh. See, you see the reason why I can't bend me. I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spend as much time in and out of the jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut about things, you know? So when I saw this year out in the newspaper that reads, Gen Corporation looking for research subjects pays three fifty a week. I figured it'd be good for me. Easy money, right? With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before. But here, death is like a way of life. A clockwork... A march. They wheel out the bodies. They disappear down the chute. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that. Now I got, uh, now I got a shock pipe. Launch series of heavy attacks against fo your foes. Be warned, it's the last a short time. Use tab. <laughs> yeah, you to do activate it. Hate to okay. die. Three fifty a week. It doesn't even look like it's changed. Okay, yeah, I know these are dead bodies. Oh my gosh, I figure there's something going on there. Ooh, what the heck is this room? What is that? Why oh, you sound like the Darlings?
dangerous. Please let me see him! looks like. Oh, actually right there. Look at the creep, the keepers, not creepers. <laughs> So they can't fight. <laughs> and where the heck am I? Oh, I'm up here. Okay. So I better watch out for these things then. <laughs> Okay. Things got a little bit interesting. So now we're being chased by keepers. I didn't know that was the sound I got caught. Okay. I literally did not know that's the sound of it. Say, I got caught. Andy? Yeah, I figured something's happening here. <laughs> That day, you think there'll be a bunch of parts. Uh, hi. Hi, bud. Uh. 
Let's see how close we do it. Can't get around him. Okay, cycle breakers. I'm not using very much of these things now. Oh, come That's on. Where the ghosts live. Just beyond that door. The keeper's prison. The pit. No one ever comes out. At least, they're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Oh, uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game? Oh, I love to play games. I like hide and seek best. Find me, and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away while I hide, and no peeking. <laughs> okay. Apparently we're playing hide and seek with O'Hara. Just one of these to keep her... To keep her still there. Oh, there you are. Oh, you did it! You found me! Oh, this is so exciting! You were brilliant! Now, can you open that door for me? Oh, yes, the door. I think you'll find it's open now. Oh, and also, let me give you something. Something special. <laughs> Just a small reminder of our game together. Fast travel. Interact with the Laker Pipes, the fast travel. Oh, you might even find some secrets. Here we go. Oh my god! That actually teleport you're only back here. Okay, uh, can you take me back again? I didn't expect that would be just like that. <laughs> I thought it would be back all the way over there. All the way to the door, but apparently I have to go back past the keeper. She's still there. Oh. And then I meant how much you. Yeah, she rarely uh, appears now. For some reason. Yeah, the ink. I think I'm not done with the ink demon because he's not even been appearing up. Bartram, that's who I was trying to take. <laughs> hey Bartram! This is what you look like without that machine? Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, sorry I went silent there, I was trying to figure out what that guy's name is. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. We're getting definitely getting memories of the past, but from the ending ink machine. Subject two twenty-eight. Uh. Here's the pit. The uh, Herald, or whatever you call her. It's called. Huh? 
guess I must do something to open that. Fudge hmm. off! I think I'm dead. Okay. Wait, no, wait, there is an item. Oh, Okay, so death definitely Benny is after me. Sammy Lawrence? Here's the projectionist. looking for answers about the keepers Wilson the cycle anything could help what's your name Audrey what's yours honestly I've almost forgotten <sighs> my name is Henry have you been a prisoner long the keepers think you're a threat to their plans they lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his, but even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, he will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of food. Labeled with the words, the end. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. What? What was that? We get to see Henry face. Oh, we'll get at him without. You know what? Wow. Okay. So that's what Henry looks like. Hey, Sam. So yeah. So I so I have to find the end record again. What is that sound? See these things? Oh, it is, okay. 
But it did, but it did sound like it's the projectionist. I've never done anything to you! Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists, it breathes, it flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pin. The foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release. Out there. But first, this world must be controlled. Made safe. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help to save my father's life. What? Your father? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Oh, I'm now in chapter 5, the dark of the dark now I got a plus sign oh there's my type stay close this place isn't as safe as it once was single tires evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet! What 
did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Yeah, who's telling Jay Wilson or the Just demon? Stop. Won't take but a moment. This is where it was. The subject will stand in the designated location! Lethal object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm Okay, okay. I'll disarm it. Oh, oh, the Tommy gun. Remain still for Tommy gun again. Yes. There we go. The subject is cleared for entry. Can I pick this up in my pipe? Oh, I can't have my pipe now. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Okay. Oh, hi. Who's this? That's a good picture. <laughs> Tell me who this is. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. Betty? She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way okay. now. So, the cute Bendy is his prison. Remember, are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But, Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is huh. that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, uh, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Okay. Gilson. What's a Gilson?
Gills, uh, Gills, uh, Gills. Looks like the fish is asleep. Okay, that's easy. I got you. you can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> oh, hi. Uh, hello. I uh, forgot the gills in again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Okay. Okay, I did all that for nothing. Just three sips of water. One. Two. Three. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck, Alice? What the heck is Alice doing here? Even she got in here. Ah, awake at last. I was almost afraid you'd miss my party. What? What's going on? Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. <laughs> your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. 
If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. You fry. Let's begin. Okay. Can I open that door? I gotta find a code. Great. Yeah, let me just see if I can get it. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. The pompous fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Hmm. I get it right on the first try or something. Ooh, I just realized what I was sitting. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. I got it right. stuff happening. Oh. Got seen. Whoa! Whoa! No one humiliates an angel! No one! Now hold still, honey. This is gonna hurt! Oh, okay. There's the Tommy gun. Which I could have it. If it didn't let me strip. I know you're out there! Oh my gosh. Where did you go? Where did you go? Come out, come out wherever you are! Okay. I guess I can use this thing. It's still my spotlight, honey! That's the door.
other side. I know you're out there! Right here, Alice. Oh. Again? She gets stabbed twice. Ah, by Allison again. <laughs> of course. You have my face. It's our face. Beautiful. Always were. Again. This feels so familiar. Mm -hmm. ah. Are you Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? Huh. It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson! I almost forgot! I have to get back right away! Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, 
It sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Yeah, no, Allison got the Tommy gun. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright. So we have to fear Alice Angel once again. <laughs> There's Alice Angels right in there. Promise us peace. Must they bring us only more peace? Don't send me back. Please have mercy. <laughs> Oh, oh, I didn't know there's still enemies. Okay. <laughs> Where the heck am I? Oh, I'm back to where it killed me, apparently. Oh, yeah. Also. I think someone already tried out, um, when she, when Audrey, Audrey said Allison, I thought that name already even, someone already gave her that. But yeah. So I'm guessing that's before, that's before she got the name. This thing out before that thing comes back. This one the enemy to us. Thought most of the man think that I'm a good guy for them. Can I get a man? <laughs> Wonder where I heard that saying before. <laughs> I guess I'm fucking tiles there. Fudge, fudge. Am 
I stuck? Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, it's one of those things. I don't feel like I should approach it. Actually, I'm gonna have to end the part here, so I'm guessing the next Bendy in the Dark Rival uh, part I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. We're gonna see. Let's yeah, let's see if it I get to the end tomorrow. So so hope you all enjoy and see you guys next video. Bye bye.